Hello guys, this is Ifti with another video again. Uh, last time we found last time we found the expression of uh, uncertainty of Gaussian wave packet at time equals zero. Now, at time equals zero, we have a wave function like this. But time at the at the same time, time equals zero. Uh, at the time equals zero, the expectation value of x is also equal to zero. That goes to zero. So the term reduces to this x square. So we need to find the psi of x t, the wave function at x equals t. What would it be? Okay. We are going to find it right now, but uh, to find that, we must uh, use the inverse Fourier transform to find the momentum domain expression for this wave function. So, the if the momentum domain expression looks like this, I'm 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 going to uh, use another color. So, we use this color. The moment, this is the momentum domain. Let me use a delta over here. Momentum domain. Then, the if we inverse Fourier transform this function, then we get two over uh, root two pi h bar minus infinity to plus infinity psi of x zero. Then we also have. Um, x0 e to the minus i p over h bar x dx this is our inverse Fourier transform of the function psi sorry about the no noise at the background I'm really sorry I can't help it so we have our expression then let's find out a p We have a constant term and the psi is e to the minus x square over 2 sigma square then exponents um, get add so I'm going to add the other exponent over here. Then we have another exponent over here that will become i p over h bar x dx. So I'm going to combine the constant term together. So the constant term is um, 2 pi uh, sigma h bar root pi then e to the I'm going to use another color e to the minus x square 2 sigma square plus we have a x common over here. We are going to take x common. Now I am going to change the color of x into another one. x square. I am going to take x common. Then we are left with i p h bar. Actually, I think we can get we can bring this i h bar outside also. So we are left with expectation value of p minus p. Then we have dx. So this all these terms are the same as these terms. Um, now we can do is we can do is swap the sign. 
so that we get p at the front so if, if we write minus here then we can swap the sign inside the bracket p minus expectation value of p now let this expression over here become s equal 1 over 2 sigma square and this whole expression over here become let's include minus let's, in, let's include this minus then we are uh, going to find that n equal minus i p minus expectation value of p h bar so let's put this expression over here and we find Pi sigma h bar root pi e to the minus s x square. plus n x then we have dx okay so all these expressions over here are reduced to this small expression now we we are going to make this a whole square to the minus uh, if we take minus common and uh, let me say s common if we take s common then we are left with x square minus n over s x and uh, dx now we can do something interesting over here we can add and subtract this expression that is n square over 2 maybe 4 4 s square we can add and subtract this term so nothing changes but here this term becomes x minus n over 2 s whole square right yes e to the we have minus s then we have e to the minus s and square over 4 s square this term is over here from is coming from over here then we have integral then the constant terms 2 pi sigma h bar okay then these terms are also constant so they are going to get out so we are having an expression like this uh, ss cancels so minus n square 4s minus n square 4s oh here was a minus sign so minus and uh, minus becomes plus this the, this uh, this expression becomes a positive term so there will no, there will not be any uh, minus of course uh, we 
have to write the constant terms. So we are uh, left with minus s x minus n 2s whole square dx. Now let's try to evaluate this expression. So if we evaluate this, uh, we are going to assume that s um, x minus n what 2 s is equal to maybe root s is equal to z okay then this full expression expression becomes uh, z square then dx will become dz over roots uh, root s so let's write down minus minus then e to the minus z square then this this term becomes z square then we have uh, dz minus dz over 2s 2 root s okay okay then of course we have a constant term over here also then we have a constant term then another constant term 1 over let me write it together e to the minus n over actually it's n square n square over 4s 2 pi sigma h bar root pi root s e to the minus z square dz now we have a gaussian integral that is that evaluates to uh, root pi so the whole expression becomes one over oops i'm going to use that blue color for all the constants e to the minus x square four um, s root over two pi sigma h bar pi over one over root s so we have a term for our ap this is ap the momentum domain expression i forgot to write down root pi there there will be a root pi so we can say that this type of integral which is this type of integral it has a um, it, it, it has a solution like this if the integral looks like this e to the minus s x square plus n x dx the solution will be e to the n square by 4 s root over pi over s this is the solution this is the evaluate uh, evaluation of this integral this is very important we are going to use this integral over and over again so instead of uh, okay, going through the whole post process i'm going to simply write down the uh, evaluated evaluated uh, value like this okay so we have found an expression for uh, constant which is uh, which, which will uh, make up our web function we are going to use this constant in our next video thanks for watching uh, peace